Hello everybody and welcome to a new My Summer Car video. So, in today's video I'm actually gonna redo the How to Wire Reset Summer video. Um, you might ask why, well, the reason is the How to Wire Reset Summer video that I made was extremely laggy and it was terrible. That's why we're revisiting the, vi the uh, How to Wire Reset Summer and so yeah, I'm gonna make a. Uh, this is a gun. This is gonna be a much better version. So. First step is of course to uh, set uh, your low to low speed. You gotta have the uh, no clip mod. It makes it so easy, much easier. Put the put it to low speed and then drag it all the way back. That makes it so you can move around so much easier. So you can fly around inside of the engine. Yeah. So. One, don't we just get started with and um, wiring it? So the coil is pretty simple. Just goes from the coil to the wiring harness. Uh, also, want to wire the regulator. It goes from here. Uh, uh yeah. Starter. So yeah, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm still not a professional with this, but I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Radiator fan goes into the wiring harness. Uh, and also the headlights does. We'll take this headlight connector and go all the way to the other side. Because there is a... Uh, Connector right there, and you gotta have the uh, headlights off. It's uh, it it is two seven millimeter bolts on the on the, on each side. You do not take off the grill. Just take that seven millimeter spanner or a ratchet and just unbolt them. Uh, yeah, um, you should get the starter probably. Yeah. Wherever the starter goes. The alternator also goes to the regulator. Uh, next, now main wiring harness. We gotta find. Uh, what about the fuel pump? It's the, the star says it's going there, but I can't find where the star goes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time to actually do. Because there are these two right here. Oh, yeah, the solenoids. Shouldn't I get one? Oh, okay. I was thinking about it might have needed to the solenoids over here. To the NOS, but I guess not. The headlight connector over here. But where will that go? Uh, maybe it goes. Oh yeah, that's why I haven't. Well, I didn't even wire that. That one up. Well, <coughs> well we did. Still not. Okay, whatever. Mean wiring harness. It's gotta go to somewhere. I think we can start with the interior now. Yeah, the radio goes down to the fuse box. Uh, 
yeah, this um, cable over there. You you gotta have the uh, FR gauge also. Panel. There we go. The AFR right there. Light switch. I think that yeah, light switch also goes to this connector. I think in the last one might be the uh, ignition. Oh, it wasn't. And um, where would the ignition go then? Like uh, to the fuse box, of course. Yeah, because I think uh, there should be one right here, but since I don't have a tack over here, I, there's really nothing to wire. So, yeah, I think the dash harness connector, it should go to the uh, tack. Oh, sh oh shit, that was too fast. Yeah, let's just get the... Uh, go let's just get the uh, the uh, tachometer over here so we can just install that and yeah there are there should be cables to this one as well yeah we can just bolt it in for a seven millimeters or six millimeter Seven, and I think there maybe there's a electrical connector to that one as well, but we'll see about that one. I know they are for the um, I was oh, okay. There is also one for the uh, for the. Um, Subwoofers over here. Also, remember to take the fuel tank. I forgot forgot it in the original How to Wire Sasuma video. I actually did forget to do it. So yeah, remember to. Uh, take them as well. Uh, those outlets are for the radio. There we go. That should be it. Yeah, now the subwoofer is all connected up. There are also for the taillights. There you go, that's all. Here, there's nothing for a uh, the uh, matrix, uh, extra gauges. I forgot one there. That was bad. That is the one, last one right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I don't think there's anyone. I don't think there's anything to do on that one. Just go behind here and check that there's nothing else to wire. Which there's not. So yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll need to unscrew these ones. No. Is there... Well, I'll get back to you guys when I have found out what's wrong with this thing right here. So, yeah. 
So guys, I am back now and I found out that yeah, I gotta have the uh, got the battery in here, so yeah, just put that in. Now we should be able to install it. Finally, there we go. Next the starter. It's connected. I know it. I think that might go. Yep, there it goes. All right. That's good at least. We found that out. Gotta find out the uh, negative terminal, though. Shall not find out yet. <laughs> Wherever this thing will go, I don't know. Inside here, it wouldn't. That no, that doesn't sound right. It shouldn't go inside there. It should be in something, some, someplace around here. No, I don't think. No, the coil. We already have one. Go to the coils. So we don't need anything there. find it out where it will go. We'll go here. So there's a cable that's not connected there. I just want to uh, connect it, I don't know. somewhere got the alternator all powered up so uh, definitely not that one starter is all uh, yeah so what wire to it <coughs> and ignition got it from get power from the coil so definitely not that one right here which is not connected but both of these ones are connected all right guys I'll just get back to you when I'll actually find out where the negative terminal goes to 
Alright guys, so I just found it out. You gotta unbolt the uh, uh, bolt right here for the starter so you can get the battery ground connector. Get that one. And the negative terminal and there we go. That should be everything uh, wired up. Also, make sure to uh, tighten the nut up over here. It's a 5mm. So uh, yeah, now will just tighten this bolt, which is a 7mm. Uh, tighten up the um, bolts for for the uh, battery. That is everything hooked up. Now we just. Well, also, we gotta install the headlights, of course. And tighten it up using a 7mm. On each side. On each of the sides right here. They're a little bit hidden behind the grill, so if you can't seem to find them, take off the grill. It's, I think it's yeah, it's two six millimeters. I believe it's six millimeter. Right, so we got everything hooked up. Now we can soften our way inside of the car. That was good music. Not really. But let's start up. Three, two, one. We got it. Starts up. Although the uh, distributor is not good. We uh, got to fix that thing as well. And let's just turn on the lights so you can actually see something. Yeah, the uh, this distri the distributor is not working. Good. We gotta have it in the middle over here. So. Oh yeah, it's, it's a uh, screwdriver, of course. So let's just. Headbutt our way through there and then loosen it up. I think what I think you want all of these cables to be lined up just like that. Just see if that works. I think that's how you uh, adjust it. It's gone. Shut up, radio. It has a little bit of a clink noise in the start. And it just stalled. That's aligned pretty well, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's good enough. So that will be it for uh, this video of my car. So 
I hope you enjoyed the revisit of the uh, How to Ride a Satsuma. The original video will most likely get deleted because it's a shitty ass video. It's terrible, so yeah, we'll just most likely get deleted. So hope you enjoyed this. If you if the if you enjoyed it and it was helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just type them in the comments below. And if you want more videos like this, remember to subscribe. Until next time, bye!